you know, there are massive profits in tax liens. They can pay 18, 20, even in some cases, uh, for example, in Illinois, 36% on your, on your money. And it's, it's protected. It's secured by uh, property. And what the, the cities or the counties are doing is they're, this money's owed them and they want to get their hands on it. So they go ahead and, and have these auctions. And you have a chance to show up at the auction and buy these, uh, these tax liens or tax certificates. Of course, there's a lot of money to be made in it. It's very secure because of the property. You can go take a look at the property. And, and as a result, a lot of self-directed IRA uh, investors would like to get their hands on those, uh, on those profits. But unfortunately, uh, a self-directed IRA is just, it's just not enough. Uh, it's in this field that the IRA LLC or the checkbook IRA uh, the advantages of, of that really, really shine. You see, the problem with buying a tax lien at an auction is that in most cases, you have to show up with cash or a cashier's check, and you have to pay for uh, the tax lien right away. And that just the self-directed IRA without the LLC is just not nimble enough. You're not able to move quickly enough. Let's run through how you would go about buying a tax lien with a self-directed IRA without the LLC. First of all, you would submit the investment to the custodian. Now, in some cases you would have to federal express that. In some cases you could email it and some custodians would let you fax that to them. But you still it has to be open during business hours. You have to be able to do that and catch somebody, hope that they have time, that you can get moved to the top of their to-do list to look at your investment and to approve it and to be able to get the necessary paperwork back to you. So that's number one. Now if they do approve it and it is during business hours and you do happen to get an approval back, uh, you have the problem of the money. You know, how do you pay for it? I mean the custodian has your money and so how do they get that there? And Most of the time they're not going to send you a cashier's check for something that you haven't bought something that you may buy without an escrow agent or anything. Where with the checkbook IRA, it's, it's totally different. So there are a lot of steps involved. And what if an unexpected opportunity came up at the auction that you had a chance to buy some other property, maybe to work another deal out? You, know, just, you just can't move quick enough with a self-directed custodian. Now that's really where the checkbook IRA rides to the rescue. It gives you the total flexibility since you're pre-approved by the custodian within certain guidelines to act and your money is in a local LLC bank account where you as the manager have total control. You can walk in and get a cashier's check. And if you don't use it, you can take it back and just, you know, redeposit it back into the LLC account. And also when you get to the tax lien auction, you can make those decisions right then and there. And if you get a really good deal, you know, maybe you could run back and get another cashier's check. So you can move quickly. You have incredible flexibility. With the checkbook IRA, you can move instantly. No need to hope that it's during business hours and that your, your request can get pushed to the top of someone's to-do list. And hopefully it's not a quarter to five on a Friday afternoon and they're wanting to get out and, and get back with their family or something and you get pushed to Monday. And not just when you buy the lien, but when it comes time to sell the lien. That sometimes people will divide up a lien. They can sell part interest in the lien. Like let's say you had a lien for $100,000 and you, and you had another opportunity. You can sell someone 50% of that lien. You can sell them the interest or the penalty or you can discount it. You can make those decisions instantly because you're the manager. And when the money comes in, you just deposit it and turn right around and use it again. So it gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes time to sell the tax lien. Now what happens if the tax lien isn't paid? Well then you get the property. And again, having an IRA LLC gives you the opportunity and the flexibility to manage that property to either sell it or joint venture with someone or rent it out. You have that ability to do that and you're the one that decides and you're the one that signs the document. 
In short, the checkbook IRA, the IRA LLC, is really the only answer to buying those tax liens. 